hostiles have captured the hard point. Hard point contested. Hard point contested. What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today, as you guys can see, we're going to be taking a look at an absolute behemoth of a weapon in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This, my friends, is the XMG. It's a dual-wielded akimbo machine gun. Yes, that's right. It's absolutely insane. One of the, uh, the craziest weapons we've ever seen in Call of Duty and definitely a lot of fun to use. So, uh, this weapon here is considered a heavy weapon in the game. It's a new class of weapons in Advanced Warfare that houses some of the direct energy weapons, other weapons that would have previously been considered LMGs, like I think the Amelia is returning and stuff like that. And then you got these things in there, which honestly they should kind of be in a class of their own because these things are absolutely nuts. Like you can see right here, you're literally running around with a giant, and I mean giant, machine gun on each arm. It's absolutely insane. It's a lot of fun to use. In terms of practicality, not so much. Like, it, it's kind of tough to do well. You're going to see that in this gameplay. Like, you've really, really, really got to get up close and personal to people to be able to get kills. Even this gunfight right here is kind of pushing the limits. Like, he's starting to get a little bit too far away. You, you really have to stay within shotgun distance if you want to have any success with these weapons. Otherwise, the recoil is just going to get away from you. And the fact that you can't aim down sight is another big thing. You know, it acts like the chainsaw on the fact that you literally can't aim down sight. It's always, always, always spray and pray. And at least the chainsaw on Ghosts, if you held down the left trigger, it would make the like aiming cone a little bit smaller. Like it would make it so you could be slightly more accurate. It still wasn't all that accurate, but at least you can improve your chances of hitting the enemy. With this weapon, you can't do that. When you're just running around normal, that is how big the, the you know, kind of spray and pray area is which, is, which is pretty large. What you can do with this thing is you can enter what's called lockdown mode, which you can see down towards the bottom part of the screen there. It says press left on the D-pad to enter lockdown mode. And when you do that, you basically turn yourself into a human turret. You can no longer walk around. All you can do is aim and kind of turn in circles. And, and you're basically this, like, giant, like, old school turret that has planted himself down to the ground. It's absolutely insane. And you can, you know, spray people down. But then, of course, again, you can't move around. So if somebody throws a grenade, if somebody, you know, starts running up on you, you're going to have to get out of lockdown mode, which takes a second. And, you know, all of your kind of reaction time is just a little bit delayed. So, uh, yeah, I mean, is this the, the best weapon in the game? Is it overpowered? You know, the fact that you've got uh, two weapons for the price of one. Like, this only takes up one slot in your creative class. It's not like you have to, you know, take up two points, one for each gun. It's only one slot. It's automatically a Kimbo. Is it OP? Absolutely not. Is it good? I mean, it's, uh, it's okay. It's decent. I, I, I definitely think that there are a lot of other weapons out there that you can choose that are going to give you a, a more well-rounded experience and be a little bit better for you in more situations. But, uh, I mean, who doesn't want to run around with a machine gun in each arm just, you know, spraying bullets down range like we've never been able to spray? Like, it, it's honestly a lot of fun. You can see, actually, right here, this situation, a situation like this where people are pouring in towards you in, in a small area when I've been spraying people down on this hard point, that's where it kind of excels, but uh, everything other than that, it, it can be kind of a nightmare to use at times. But um, anyway, yeah, so that, my friends, is the Akimbo XMGs. They're, uh, they're definitely very, very unique and, and quite a bit of fun to use. Now, uh, also, you guys have been seeing some new gameplay here. This is actually gameplay recorded on my studio tour and visit uh, of Sledgehammer Games. And this is on the map recovery. We've seen this from the IGN walkthrough video that went up a couple of weeks ago. I did a video on it. But this is the map where it's a Hawaiian volcano. It starts off on one side, which you guys saw at the very beginning of this video. Halfway through the map, the volcano erupts. You have to evacuate to the other side through these giant doors to my left right here. And then the doors close, and the rest of the map is played on this side. So it's really kind of a, a super unique map. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I honestly probably could have chosen a better weapon for this side of the map. The other side would have been better for the Akimbo X. SMGs, but uh, I just I wanted to make sure I got you guys XMG gameplay because it's a lot of fun to use and definitely very unique. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Bunch of great videos coming soon. Tomorrow I'm gonna have some gameplay with the IMR, which is a 3D printer weapon that actually prints its own ammo. Yes, that's right. It's super super badass. You guys don't want to miss that. Make sure you guys check back and uh, check out one of the other videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.